Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I just wanted to show you how to uh, make a custom domain for um, for your websites, basically. Like if you're an affiliate marketer, or you know, just trying to make money online or whatever, and you want to hide or mask your uh, URL. You know, for instance, like if you're having issues with posting it and sharing it on Facebook or whatnot. So this is how it's done. You're going to go to Namecheap. And I don't have to say this, but obviously you're going to if you don't have an account, you're going to have to make one, register, it's simple, it's free. Knock that out. Come back. Log in. All right. All right, so Okay, well, let me show you just started from scratch. So say like, okay, you're logged in. You want to buy a name. Search for one. So let's say uh, freemoneybiz.com. Okay, so let's just see what pops up. Hmm. Let's try this. Here we go. This is where you want to search it. So free money biz.com all right so boom right here it's gonna load up all your options it's gonna prices are gonna pop up as well any moment now I don't know why it's taking so long. Well, I mean, you got the general idea. So, okay, the prices are going to pop up. You're going to choose one that you want. It, they're going to be typically around, like, you know, uh, $10 per year. Okay, here we go. Well, okay, yeah, this one's a little pricey. But, okay, look at the other ones right here. You know, freemoneybiz.life. You know, it, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's still going to work. You know, you don't have to pay whatever this and that. But, I mean, for the .com, I mean, that would be good just for, like, you know, um, like as far as like searching and whatnot so you probably would want to go with that and then so you just buy it and then what's gonna happen is it's gonna be in your domain list so let's see domain list right here you go to account go to domain list okay now this is my active website, stayontop365.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to manage it. And then uh, you're going to want to go to advanced DNS. All right, now see, now you're going to see all these redirect records. Uh, within just that one domain so let me show you so for instance okay I'm gonna show you a couple of my different opportunities that I have all saved in this one domain so I have my regular one or my first one actually I should say this is to promote and sell MCA my name is Nico Trinidad so we'll pause that I have this one which is right here this one is to promote um, my EPS uh, email processing system and I have one more this one this one is to promote one of my clickbait um, online marketing tutorial uh, programs so basically what you do so for my original one for the MCA I basically got my link well I have all my links redirected to uh, landing page monkey so we'll go ahead and load that up real quick Okay, so we'll go to my pages. Let 
MCA, we're going to edit. And my autoresponder integration. So my redirection URL, this is my actual link for my MCA affiliate program. So I basically pasted it in there. But that's what's getting redirected to this. And so we got, let's see my other page. So EPS, edit. Oops. Oh, well, I can show you this one too. It doesn't matter. Autoresponder integration. There's my redirect link for my ClickBank product, which goes to this. So, okay, so basically, okay, let me stay on topic now. What you got to do to set this up is, okay, you'll see the URL redirect record. So, you want to make, if you want to make one, you have, or, or you already have this one. This one will already be there on default. So, what you want to do is, um, it might not be on U URL redirect record automatically. So, you just have to click on this. See, I believe it will be on C name record or A record when you first get it. So, you want to make sure it's on URL redirect. And then you want to keep that www, you want to leave that there. And then, if I was just going straight to my affiliate program, I could just put the link right there. But I'd rather have it go to my capture page first. So, that's why it looks like that. So, that's in there. And then you want to make sure that it's masked. You want to keep it masked so so the link doesn't pop up, so nothing recognizes it like Facebook or whatnot. Because if you use like JVZoo links or other certain links, like EP, I think some uh, email processing system links don't really work on Facebook well as uh, as well either. So keep them all masked, mask them all, and then if you want to use a different affiliate program for the same domain name, all you have to do is change the host. So you change the host to Wes, or that's what I did for my email processing system. So this will redirect. So Wes.stayontop.com will redirect to my EPS program. Biz.stayontop365.com will redirect to my Click, uh, ClickBank link. So yeah, this is basically how you want it to look. And then... One thing you want to do too, you want to make sure whenever you apply your changes or when you're finished editing it, click the save changes. That's what's um, going to finalize everything and then it'll probably take about a good couple minutes for it to actually like like process through uh, all the way and then you could uh, search it up. You could, you could type your, uh, your link up here and then check it just to make sure that it's working but yeah, it usually takes a couple minutes for it to activate after you save. So, yeah, I hope this helps, guys, and uh, I guess I'll see you on the next one.